What's up guys? So today we're working on 2006 Chevy Silverado 443 liter and this is uh, the manual transmission of the Heco Touring with uh, as you can see this is uh, the blood pedal assembly and as you can see common problem on you can see here the the blood master cylinder is mounted to to the assembly right here but in the case you know the you, as you can see the flax is it broken and in order to remove the blood assembly it's very very difficult and uh, if you know how to remove it it's a uh, it's save you a lot of time and more easy I I don't know the way I do that the easy uh, that the best way or may you guys give me a comment and we have to uh, eat others right you know in order to remove the clutch assembly and you can see the side panel here already moved you can see the side panel here for the fuel box and you see the front dash cover run around here to over there already moved and put in here and you will see this the lower cover already moved you able to remove it and uh, let more light for you can see from inside but if you don't it's just it's okay even the lower cover no need to remove and the side cover here panel cover you don't no need to remove everything here like I I showed you earlier so like side cover lower cover and the deck cover but you see here that electrical connector box you as you can see it mounted here mounted for right here you guys and you, you can see the bracket there I don't know you able to see yeah this bracket and the bracket on here to mount this electrical box you see in front it's at uh, like two connector here the connect to connector here and in the back with the big connector here with the seven millimeter more in the middle you lose that up and then take it out yeah it's right here okay this this uh, this side nothing that only this side and you, you can see one two three four five to uh, a several connector in the front but it just use only two here and here as you can see out here uh, under the hood and you see the Mac uh, the clutch master cylinder here in good shape as you can see right here the mount yeah the mountain size is good no broken at all and uh, this master cylinder is no need to replace okay uh, like you see the hole right there that for uh, the clutch assembly is coming out there and then with the, on the assembly at the hole and you can push it in and turn the counterclockwise and you will lock like this and uh, you see the reservoir the fluid reservoir all all way point up you know when you uh, lose it you just turn clockwise in like about 45 degrees and you can see 
right here on the mount, mountain like that it's square like this thick way so and from inside you can uh, subtractly the push rock from the pan from the paddle and you can see two clip right here you can track them together and then this clip it will stay away and put it out and move it out here okay guys in order to do get this done we have to replace the negative battery and as you can see I have the cap here to cover the negative terminal when I remove the cable to avoid you know you put the cable somewhere and when you're working on it then pop back and hit it and it gets short okay and when you when you buy the new battery and you're able to have this but keep in mind that the pocket positive side cover it will be red color and the negative side will be uh, black color and you ship them just in case you when you remove the battery for work on cars you cover the battery for more shape okay and as you can see right here we have the harness seal here on the firewall it net to the hole you know this seal as you can see from inside I push it out it's a little bit like that all rough to the bottom and almost to the top and it it's about like about half pop out like this but before you can able to push it out like this from inside first thing you pop all the way in you see right here on this side I from out here I pop all the way in let this uh, seal is easy move back and forth and then from inside as you can see you can do the 38 long extension like this and with the work light and you can see right there yeah and then you can push it push that out and you can see right there yeah yeah hard for me to hold the light and I will show you guys yeah right here yeah you can uh, push about that much out because the clutch assembly will be down and will heat on heat on the harness seal and why you need this side out <coughs> and about the the seal here I, I I don't know what they call the seal yeah this one you are can able to track it in it all the way to the firewall and you take the assembly out clutch assembly down here and don't forget, you know, some uh, the hard holder like this, then uh, pop them up and then remove the set clutch assembly. And you see, you can see that the harness here just pop them out from the box and just, just leave, leave them alone like that, okay. And as you can see on the floor, I don't have much. Both of you here, it's at like three 15 millimeter bowl for the clock assembly. Mount to the firewall. And let me put this up here. I don't deal with this until I put everything back. Okay, you can see from here they have two. Two bowl like this mount to uh, tight the assembly to the firewall like that okay and as you can see when you take the bowl off you try to compare and you can see the one with the pink color on it is longer than the other this one is mount to the top from here okay it mount up on under the desk okay that's all in order to loose the bowl you should have a 
long extension and with the ratchet and uh, loose a little bit and use a power tool like this but you should have the thick guy to change the angle because the end of the dash is too tight no room yep that's it guy uh, and you as you can see this one this side you mount the master cylinder here from outside under the hood you use your, your finger when you lose all the bowl and you press it in you press it in and it will pop out from the hole of the firewall like the hole earlier you can see from there yep from that hole it pop out when the seal I already told you I track out this side a little bit to stay away from the assembly and you still have this left you can have and when the assembly already pop out you practice out practice it and another hand you pull assembly down as you can see I can put it back in like this hopefully later you have the new one you put it back in like this make sure when you put in be careful the wire yep sorry that I'm just only one hand yep when you have I got I done many like this before that's why the way I do may help you guys save a lot of time when you you have it in this position for right now and you look up there to see it stuck something you can able to up more or back work a little bit and then you can able to move this up to the hole put it out and pop to the hole and then tie all the bow and let it go back in and that's uh, all done in here once again you see all the lower cover here the covers that you know the deck cover front cover and the side cover in order I remove them and let me more comfortable to do in the knee here but if I don't remove them just leave them in place no remove any bow I just you just need to remove the part uh, the part and break right here drop them make more room for you to access and some aftermarket thing like this they stay on this side we don't really need but when I remove the cover I have to drop drop that unit okay and nothing else but I have to move electrical box because it's it's stuck right here guys you as you can see let me hopefully you you guys can see this very important okay as you can see right here this side of the assembly it run up here it move 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 movement up here between two of electrical bracket if you you still have the electrical box here no way to take it out even when you take it out you, you can see it's between yep right here the electrical box right here guys and then move out move out like this yeah and take it out that's it uh, when you guys have the new one put in all done and now here you guys can see this you just try to put it back so we had just only one hand yeah put it back like this put it back in and you remember right now it's vertical straight you turn it like 45 degree like this and then push it all the way in and then turn it back straight 
counterclockwise back to straight and then it lock in place and you guys get to go that's it guys uh, once again if you searching for some Google or even the repair menu you have the repair menu like the all data like that I have it I have one but in this case I know the repair menu told the instruction they say you have to lower uh, the dashboard by loosen depot and you know remove the dashboard top cover from under the windshield go all the way to uh, the passenger side so a lot of work if you are the grand turner or part changer if you see some video like that I'm guarantee you put away everything let someone do it even some mechanic I see they do the same like the all day the instruction move all the thing like I say no we don't need this guy to do like what I do if you guys something I do not necessary to do just let me know give me the comment and then I would say thank you for that and we learn we help each other okay that's it guys I don't want to take the video so long if you guys have the, the vehicle with, with the assembly broken like this and uh, hope you guys save a lot of time to remove it uh, yourself or even you the mechanic uh, I don't know what the way you do okay that's it guys thanks for watching and see you guys next time